Hi all. In this video, we will see how to generate a target file with the name of sysdate or other dynamic names. For this, we need a target transformation as a flat file, and in that, we have an option called add file name column to this table. Using this option, we can create a new port to the target transformation. and we can give our user defined our dynamic file name here i am opening power center designer i am taking a new target transformation here i am creating a flat file I am naming it as dynamic file name. Here, this dynamic file name is our target flat file. In this mapping, I will load application type table data to this flat file. So here, in this application type, we have two columns. One is ID and another one is name. So for this dynamic file name flat file, I am adding these two fields. Here, this is for add a column to this table. ID and the data type is int and the new field name. The data type is int and I am changing the precision to fifty. Here. Here, th there is an option called here. This is the target table, flat file properties, column properties. In this, this is the option art file. So using this option, we can add a new port for a file name. So this is the option called add file name column to this table. So this is the file name attribute. I'm saving the target transformation. Now I will create a new mapping. One is called dynamic file name. I am taking application type as source. And we don't have. file name attribute in source call fair i mean file name port in source call fair to add this port to add that port i'm taking a new transformation that is expression transformation here i'm taking an expression transformation and and i will add a new port as a string data type and make it as an output port in that output port i will write a condition for file name using session start time or any other sys date and then i will map it into the file name port of the target transformation as we stated in the previous here here this is an expression transformation in this i will add a file name and i will give an expression like this this is expression for our file name port that we have added so here i will take a new transformation as expression exp underscore Dynamic underscore file name. I am giving the expression of permission name. I will map these two ports to this expression of permission, and in expression of permission properties, going to the ports, and I will add a new column that is file name. I am changing the precision to 20, and I am making it as an only output port, so that I can edit an expression. Here, for this, I am giving an expression as to care session start time. Here, our output file is .csv format. The to care. I 
I'm giving the session start time some variables. Here the session start time and the date format is year, month, date, hour, 24 hour format. and I am appending using pipe symbol dot csv here the output file format is dot csv so the file name is the current session start time with an extension dot csv we can add few more to this file like with a pipe symbol dynamic file name the dynamic file name so I am validating expression expression password successfully means there are no errors now I will take the target transformation that is our dynamic flat file I am dragging this into our mapping pane and I will map these three ports to target plot file. I am saving the mapping. Now I will create a session for this mapping. In workflow manager, create a new session x underscore m underscore dynamic file name. associating this session with dynamic file name mapping that we have created here the session will be created I am meeting the session connections with database connections in the mapping tab under connections I am changing the source database connection to source that is our application type table existing as this source table we can verify in our database So this is application type table. In this we have seven records with application ID and application name two fields. In the source connection, source. We no need to edit any other properties. I am saving the session. Now I will create a workflow for this mapping. Going to workflow, create new one. W underscore dynamic file name. I am joining these two with the line task. It will establish the connection. So I have saved the mapping. Now the target file default folder is under Informatica server info shared target files. So in this we don't have any files. There is a file I will delete this file after. Now I will run this session. So I will run this first flow. In workflow monitor, we can observe the session status.
Yeah, here the session is succeeded successfully. We can look look into the session properties. If you go to the summary, load summary in dynamic file name. Yeah, the requested rows are seven and appear rows are seven and directed rows are zero. The load summary is nothing but from the source. We have received seven records and the target. The load is seven records. Okay, in our info sheet, this is the output file path. Here we can observe that the path is here target files dynamic file name dot file name one dot out. Here by default the data will be stored into this file. However, we have taken a new attribute for dynamic file name uh, using add file name column to this table property. So if you use that property. no data will be loaded into this file and the data will be loaded into the another file with our dynamic file name yeah the file will be created with our dynamic file name and that will be located into this path yeah i am opening the folder and yeah, this is the folder here the dynamic file name here the date is with the session start time as we have given in our mapping properties in our mapping properties for the file name here this is the file name here the file name is dynamic file name with that this date format and the extension is dot csv so our output file is the dynamic file name with output properties with the dot csv format so if i open this out fa out file no record will be there and if i open this csv file seven records will be there as there as these seven records are from source yeah these seven records so in this property we can give the dynamic file name as we required so based on our requirement we can give the file name dynamically so like we can generate the file name dynamically so based on the current sys date or any other using any other property thank you